still looking for two thieves who stole a van and slammed into a car while trying to dodge police. Witnesses say a mom and her two kids were in that car. One of them, a teen, was killed. News 13's Rebecca Atkins spoke to witnesses. She's live in the Heights at Chelwood Park and Copper. Rebecca. Well, Dean and Jessica, witnesses out here earlier this morning say this family was in the wrong place at the wrong time. The scene bringing many people to tears, saying this could have easily been them and their kids. And this was what the scene looked like this morning. You can see the stolen company van crushed the family's red car. Police say it all started when police say they responded to a call of an electrical company's van being stolen just after 630 this morning. The worker had left it warming up at his home not too far from the crash scene. Police found the van but didn't chase the driver because he was driving recklessly and they didn't want to endanger the public. Moments later, police rolled up on the crash. It's just unfortunate and tragic. It sounds like something you don't want to hear. The other passenger could have been a student, which I hope not. Is um, you know, could have been taking them to school. Now, this is surveillance video from the corner march showing the thief going extremely fast and running through the stop sign, hitting that family. Police say they've warned people over and over about leaving their cars warming up outside. I don't want to go and say that it's the, the victim's fault. However, we just want people to be more mindful of what's going on, what they're doing, what their actions are, and just realize that there is a consequence. Now, this is more video from the same surveillance camera showing cops arriving less than 40 seconds after the crash. Witnesses tell us they saw a man and woman in the van flee the scene headed north on Shellwood. Now, Manzano High School and a daycare are very close by. Police have not yet released the name of the teenager killed or where they may have gone to school. Dean and Jessica, back to you. All right, thank you, Rebecca. Police have an idea who the suspects are, but they are not. They have not released their names.